All right, a day in the life. So the fence is up, it's working fine. Uh, the hoop coop has been de-chickenized. It is now a pig palace officially. I did leave that top um, roost in there and that just had st stability to it side to side. So there's two full bales of straw in there and I mean, it's really good and fluffy. I'm gonna wait until I can actually get the pigs in here before I add more. Uh, I went and bought 10 bales of straw and this is just standard Ace Hardware straw. 10 bells, $95. I'm like, <laughs> who cut this, hey? <laughs> or who cut this straw, actually? So, yeah, a little bit pricey. Uh, I will go with straw at first. Um, and like I said, I only put two bells in there, so I've got eight bells left. Uh, from now on, it will be mulch hay that will go in there before them. I moved their feeders down here, uh, put feed in it. I have done everything I can to entice them to get them down here. They just will not leave their original pen. Uh, where all the hay that I put in there was because when I went out there it was a big pig pile earlier So they were all huddled up cuddled up and getting warm. You got the setting Sun here So I apologize if I'm squinting so much here. Let me turn that's a little better. Okay So it is officially mud season. It was 22 degrees up here this morning two inches of snow two two and a half inches of snow on the ground um, really cold and uh, it's warmed up to a total I think of 37 degrees today so now what was uh <laughs> frozen is now mud so it's officially mud season and the rabbits i went down today and their water bottles were froze thankfully when i did buy those water bottles i bought the ones that are capable of heated their their heated water bottles so i had to run some extension cords down there get those plugged in and uh they're warming up and thawing their uh <laughs> they're on their water now so and then it's it's supposed to stay like this for a few days like in the third 20s and 30s it's supposed to turn, turn, turn around and i think we're gonna get in the high 40s into the 50s and stuff so it just it, this that time of year it doesn't know what it's going to do and neither do we <laughs> but uh, pen turned out really good pretty easy to do um i did here i had to put a step post here just to kind of keep the, the the fence off of the post here uh just in case it would get too close to it because that's a steel post so step post there and all the way around And right down to there so they know that there was a barrier here and getting i even threw some feet on the ground here to kind of entice them to get them up in here if i can even get them to come out of their dag on an old pin they won't even come out of their old pin right now but uh, this will kind of entice them and get them up in here because even though there's no bar barrier there now it's a it's a mental picture for them that they knew there was one there so it may take them a couple days and you know their, their stomachs will drive them here that's what's going to end up have to be done I've carried buckets of feeds and scoops of feed over there and tried to get them to come out and they would follow me for about 30 feet and then they turn right around and go back. So they got this in here. They'll get hungry enough, they'll come in there. That's just how it is. And they'll see that nice little pig palace right there, <laughs> all stuffed full of fluffy uh, straw. They'll get in there. I went and bought, I uh, went on a pig run or a feed run this morning on a pig run. You see what's on my mind today. So the domesticated animals are all taken care of. <laughs> The problem is, is deer season starts Monday. I haven't even shot my gun yet. I have not even fired my gun yet to see if it's still on, still sighted in. So tomorrow I have to absolutely positively have to go out there and shoot my gun and make sure it's sighted in because I've got the next two weeks off for deer season and uh, not even shot it yet. So I've been paying more attention to and working to keep, take care of the domesticated animals and uh, not paying attention to the wild animals. So <laughs> the first week may be a bust. It's hard to even say. But uh, it's not all about killing animals. It's about getting out there and just spending the time out there. Um, so I went on a, a feed run this morning and I got the, another half ton of feed for them. And um, I got some more rabbit feed while I was out. And then I went to uh, Tractor Supply and I bought a, uh, it's a 100 gallon Rubbermaid uh, 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 water tank for uh, livestock water tank. And what I'm going to do with it, I went ahead and got a, a heater for it as well. It'll go in there and it'll keep the, the water from thawing. And I'm going to stick uh, three pig nipples that I've got in the house. I'm going to cut the holes and put the pig nipples in that. And that way it'll set. My plan is, is to put it right there in that corner. And I've got some patio stones down in the barn I'm going to go get. And I'm going to lay them out right there and, and lay some in front of it. That way they don't create a big waller there like they did out here. So the water will, you know, even though if it, it runs down or whatever, it won't create a big mud hole like it did out there for them. And that'll help keep 
this area at least somewhat <laughs> nice, I guess. I'm sure it won't be long before it looks like this because this is basically going to be a sacrifice area for the winter. Um, but that, it'll get all chewed up, but I don't want a big waller up there. And as far as that goes, I just got to get them down here. And I, they will not. <laughs> I'll show you. See, it? they've completely decimated that near 1,000-pound bale of hay I put there. And when I came out earlier, like I said, they were all laid there in a pile like they're getting ready to do now. And when he actually got up, there was steam rolling up off the ground. So they're not cold, but I want them in there. Uh, hey, you really can come with me. Why don't you come with me? I got a nice warm place for you. I got fresh, clean straw and I got good food. You hungry? But you won't come with me. I want you to come with me. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Come on. You want to come and eat? I fed Boris. Boris is in his little cubby over there. He's all, he don't bite my leg. He's all tucked in in his igloo. Come on, come with me. They just, they won't do it. 20, 30 feet by so I can get them out of here and they won't do it. Hey, are you hungry? I got food. I, I put the scoop in front of them. I did everything. They would not no, would not come past the pen here. Come on. Routine. They're used to it. You want to follow me? Come on. There's all kinds of food over there. Come on. You'll be the first one over there. You get all the food you want. I doubt he'll follow me. He may. Never know. Hey. Come on. You coming? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to put a leash on them and drag them over there. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, their feed's over there. Their shelter's over there. Nice, fluffy hay. They opted for cold, wet, ground-in, wore-out straw or hay over here. So, they'll get hungry. They'll find it. And anyways, that's done. That, that part's done. i got to go plug the fence back in. That part's done. The pigs are taken care of. Their shelter over there. It's not an odd area for them. I mean, it is up, up above where they normally root, but it's open right to them, so they'll get in there. And the bunny's water is thawing, so I just got to figure out the water for the chickens. The the uh, American Breast, I bought this five-gallon water for them. No matter what I do, I cannot keep that daggone thing to hold water. It just keeps pouring out all over the floor, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So maybe I ought to get my glasses on read the, ins the instructions on. That might help. Anyways, day in life. <laughs> Still got a little snow back here in the shaded spots, but other than that, it is mud. So, tis the time of year. All right, folks, get prepared, stay prepared. Take care, and God bless.